it wouldn't make sense. It wouldn't. So they're mm-hmm. automatically going to disagree with with Christians that Isaiah 53, the suffering servant, is Jesus Christ because he wasn't crucified. He didn't suffer. And they don't have the same concept of salvation, uh, the understanding that Christians have of the crucifixion bringing about this salvation that the Christians have. So no, altogether, it doesn't fit. So they don't believe that he could have saved the nations by the blood or by the act of the uh, crucifixion. So then, you know, they're, they're like, okay, well, that's not the interpretation of it. So let's look what the Jews are saying. If the Jews are saying that they're going to survive and, to, and they're going to be the ones that are upon the truth and they're the ones that are going to establish a divine mm-hmm. just state mm-hmm. and that they were blameless and that they are the ones who suffered because of the injustices of other nations, well, then they say, okay, well, what about us? Well, we're Arabs, we're Muslims, we're at war with Israel for a long time. And so they, they reject also this notion or this interpretation that the suffering servant is Israel.